Building with Gladys and Eve. Check out the crystal. Check out the PCB. Yeah. Okay. So, our last component before I move on to the buttons and the battery is this little guy right here. This is our crystal and an incredibly important part of our radio receiver. You see, the way that radios work is a transmitter, in order to send out the radio waves, will take an audio signal and will modulate it into sine waves. We call that encoding it. So it can be sent out across space. And then when the receiver picks up this encoded message, it needs to decode it. So this tiny little guy right here, this crystal, does precisely that. So this is our detector or our demodulator. And we're gonna put it right here on the board. It's labeled as Y1. So we'll put that right in here. Very, very tiny, very, very delicate. Very, very close to the chip that we previously soldered. And I personally feel like I want to put in all the rest of the things before I move on to soldering. So next we have all of our buttons. And our buttons are just going to go in these symbols right here. Um, so let's see. You should be able to push them down. So they are flush with the PCB. A little quickie. So we'll do that for all of these. If anything, it's like great still. this is your first time soldering, we didn't exactly talk about how to do that. Um, which, hopefully by now you've kind of figured it out, but apologies for not doing so. What you wanna do is put the iron on your component, let it heat up a little, and then feed. Of course, now it's not empty. And then feed. <laughs> the solder into it. Oh, just melt this a little bit off. I've heard it's heat, solder, solder, heat. Heat, but solder, solder, heat. It's, it takes a lot of practice. It does. But you can do it. And you're so cool for your trying. Yay. And last but not least, we've got our little aux jack. Uh, if you find that that happens, um, it might fit in snugly, but if you can't get it to stay, once again, this is why we got our tape here. You can just put it in. Tape it on so it stays while you're soldering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I missed some legs. Get back and get these legs that I missed. Beep. Beep. Breathing in these awesome lead fumes. So sick. I do kind of like it. Cool, so now we're gonna do our batteries. 
Typically, the red wire is positive and the black wire is negative, but we're going to check just to make sure. Um, the negative is going to be the spring and the positive will be just the plate. So the way we're going to do this actually is, and then you'll notice here that the positive is the little square trace and the negative is the circle. And you'll notice there's actually two holes next to our battery plus and minus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this through like this. And this, when I was talking about the sewing needle, I actually ended up using a sewing needle for this part when I was doing my practice kit, just because I personally was having a difficult time. I could do it like that, and then you can bend it over to get it to stay. And pull this back through and make it tight. I'm gonna do the same thing with the negative. I'm gonna pull it through. Put it through here. Bend it like this. I'm not sure if you exactly have to do it like this, but I imagine that it just makes it more secure. So, might as well, right? And then we'll solder these on, and then we'll have completed our little soldering practice project. And maybe we'll get to listen to some radio tunes. So let's just go through real quick, make sure we got all of our points. Make sure all of our points have enough solder. For instance, it looks like my crystal can maybe use a little bit more of a dab. So I'm just going to give her a little bit to move up like that. Everything's looking good. One thing we're also going to look and make sure is that there's no like excess pieces. So I just found like a piece of wire that we had cut. Make sure none of our little tips are touching so my negative terminal is touching one of these components. So I'm just gonna move that over. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna put the batteries in. See if this radio kit will work. And connect headphones, or if you have a eighth inch to eighth inch, you can connect to a stereo, a different speaker, perhaps. Turn it on. Sometimes you have to mess with the battery a bit. There it is. Okay, we're getting a lot of static right now. Let's put the volume up all the way. I'm sure if you hear that. You can hear it. Let's try changing the channel. Oh. Yeah. For all the country lovers out there. Consider this from WHYY and NPR is available for Ah, I think we'll leave on this note. Um, again, if you just receive static at first, uh, I would suggest raising it above your head, messing with the batteries a bit. Seems like it's a little loose. As I touch the batteries, you can even hear the sound getting lower. So maybe any of those things. And then your, your kit will come with some zip ties are for these two spots here. And I think you have to do that when the battery's out, but your zip ties will go there and you'll have a little on the go radio. Thanks for patience and for trying something new and being really vulnerable. Thank you, E, for helping us through this. Thank you, Gladys. <laughs> Rock on, everyone. <laughs>